Have you ever been in the forest and just had this feeling that the wind rustling through the leaves of the trees carries a message for you? Or has the thought that the trees tell each other stories from ancient times ever crossed your mind? Being in the woods is like being in another world. When I spend time with the trees, it always feels as if time has stopped. And to me, the forest is the only place in our modern world where the ancient wisdom is still present. Trees are silent witnesses of time and our oldest teachers. And when I step into the woods and take a deep breath, it's as if all the weight that was weighing on my shoulders was lifted. Despite the chaos that is present in our lives, trees give us their boundless patience. They listen, they comfort us, they offer their wisdom and their solace to those who take the time to listen. Their trunk becomes a support that we can lean on and when I'm with my favorite trees, I always wonder how many people have sought comfort and advice from you. What stories did they tell you and what advice did you give them? Trees honestly have so much to tell us, even if we can't hear them. Or can we? As Carl Jung said, Sometimes a tree tells you more that can be read in books. Because just by observing a tree, we can learn to hear what they are telling us with their mere existence. Before a tree is steadfast and deeply rooted, able to withstand wind and weather, it must first grow from a tiny seed. All the information needed for the tree to grow is contained in this seed. And when I think about that, a small little acorn will grow into this strong, big oak tree in a few decades, I cannot help but admire our tree friends. The tree grows and the wind and rain make it stronger. The trunk gets thicker and the tree gets stronger and stronger until it produces its first leaves and eventually surpasses its human friends. Trees are rooted deep in the earth, always connected to Mother Earth, and yet they reach for the stars. A tree has roots in the soil, yet reaches to the sky. It tells us that in order to aspire, we need to be grounded and that no matter how high we go, it is from our roots that we draw sustenance. Wangari Matai. In every season, trees wear a different dress or have shed it completely, telling us that it is okay to change and that change indeed is necessary. In spring, trees are adorned with beautiful, colorful flower buds. In summer, the trees wear a beautiful dress made from lush green leaves and in autumn, the trees wear this magnificent robe made from red and golden and orange and yellow leaves before they fall completely in winter. 
trees show us that every single season is beautiful, every single season of our life is beautiful and that we are beautiful. We can embrace the change and no matter how our surroundings may look like, wear our most magnificent robe and embrace the change and really shine our light and share our magic with the world. Yes, we may feel sad when the beautiful orange and gold and yellow and red leaves are falling in autumn and winter, but when the wind whirls up the colorful leaves and all of these leaves dance in the wind, we feel joyful and hopeful again. So today I invite you to listen to the trees and to really intend to receive a message that they want to give you. And this is how you can do it. Grab a journal and a pen and go to a place in nature where you feel safe. This can be the forest or a park or even your garden where there are trees. Bring someone that you deeply trust to accompany you. As you are surrounded by the trees, slow down and take a deep breath. Which tree is calling you? Which tree are you attracted to? Take your journal and your pen and write down everything you notice about this tree. For example, the trunk of the tree is, the bark of the tree is, the tree has, the tree is. Also write down any other things that you recognize, like the surroundings, the lightning. Just write down whatever comes into your mind. So simply write down everything you notice that has led you to this tree. And when you are finished, take your notes and read them out loud. But this time replace the tree with I. So let's say for example you wrote down the tree has a beautiful big crown, then you would write down, I have a beautiful big crown. Or let's say you wrote down, the tree is standing in a place where there is no sunlight, then you would write down, I am standing in a place where there is no sunlight. And I remember when I did this for the very first time during my shamanic practitioner seminar, and I was just crying in front of all the other people and my teacher was comforting me and that's why it's really good to have a person with you that can comfort you, that you trust. But I was just crying and they all showed me that it is okay and that I was loved and safe. And that was honestly such a magical experience because it really opened my eyes how I saw myself and what kind of stories I was telling myself. And this little tree that I picked really mirrored me this kind of way of seeing myself and life in such an honest and non-judging and clear way. Also make sure that you know what kind of tree it is. So maybe make pictures of the tree, of its bark. Maybe you find a leaf that you can bring with you. And after that, go home and do some research about the tree. Find out the mythology about this tree, the history, the stories that are being told in your area. And also what the symbolism of this tree is. For example, I remember picking a silver birch tree and my teacher told me that this is the number one tree that is symbolizing rebirth or change or like a new beginning. So make sure you know what tree you picked and then do a lot of research about it because it has called you for a reason. Thank the tree for giving you the chance to change that and wear another beautiful dress, just like the trees do in the different seasons. 
So if you do this for the first time, just know that it could be a little bit harsh. As I said, I was crying when I did this for the first time and all of the other participants were sobbing and crying, but we have been together for such a long time in this training. So we all felt safe. We all were hugging and like just crying. And we also had our teacher that could comfort us. So again, please bring someone that can accompany you and that you trust and that can hold you because it is really so worth to have someone to lean on afterwards because it is a mirror and it's unapologetically showing you what you need to know and what story you are telling yourself, how you see yourself and what you are mirroring out into the world. But yeah, I think it is such a beautiful exercise and now when I go outside, I don't have a pen and a journal with me all the time. I simply see what tree is attracting me, what tree is calling out to me. And I just do this little exercise in my head. So for example, I go for a walk in the woods and I see this huge tree with beautiful roots over the surface. So I know, okay, I'm really grounded, but I have to go deeper. I have to ground more. So it's more rooting myself into the earth because that way I'm really responsible to my surroundings. So if there is a huge wind coming, then it could still blow me off. So this is just how I do it. And again, it is such a beautiful tool to utilize nature and to really get deeper to the stories that you are telling you so you can shift them and really awaken your inner magic. So yeah, I really love this little exercise. All right, so now let's pass the microphone to past Forest Witch BB because she already did the outro for this video. So past Forest Witch BB, your turn. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun writing the script and filming it. And I think the good people and the forest appreciate it as well because they sent me this little butterfly friend that kept following me around for the whole day. And yeah, if you like this video, if you like my content, then don't forget to do the YouTube magic. It really helps me out a lot. It means the world to me. If you like this video, if you subscribe to my channel and yeah, comment down below, share the video if you like it and we will hang out again next week. So see you then. <laughs> bye bye.